Kathy Wood has been taking a lot of heat so far in 2024. Outflows from her active strategies have totaled $2.2 billion so far, eclipsing redemptions from disappointed investors last year. So in this video, we're going to look at one of her ETFs. This is the ARK Innovation, uh, ticker symbol ARKK, and scrolling up to the monthly chart. You can see how price bottomed out uh, in December of 2022 and in the process form this inverse head and shoulder however price failed to close above this resistance resistance band at fifty dollars now scrolling down to the weekly chart What you can see is part of that bottoming out process. This is the what I'm going to call accumulation. We saw the roundabout of the moving averages. The orange is the 26 simple weekly moving average, and the blue is the 13 simple move, 13 simple weekly moving average. And again, uh, we had this false breakout once price again on the weekly chart closed above this band um, only to see price get rejected at roughly $54 now what's interesting to note is on the daily chart below I have the relative strength index and um, this pretty much a momentum indicator and as you can see as price was making um, highs with this leg up back in uh, November of 2023 the RSI had plateaued and as RSI was making higher highs RSI was flat and this high at $54 coincides with a lower high on the RSI so this kind of give you give you indication that um, the momentum to the upside was weaning now although price did base around this resistance band at $50 in the process it formed what I'm going to call is a asymmetric triangle and typically when you break out either to the upside or the downside you retest it as we had in in this situation and after the retest price typically goes in the direction of the close in this case now one thing I want to note is that um, this extended range candle um, is now forming a daily seller's label at So the question is how far will price go? Well, if there's continued outflows, definitely price is going to make uh, lower lows. Now before we conclude and select a target, let's quickly look at this article. So the six actively managed ETFs managed by ARK have experienced a net outflow of $2.2 billion this year, reported by the Wall Street Journal surpassing the total outflows of 2023. Now Todd Rosenbloff, head of research at Vetify, noted the loyal shareholders have become frustrated. This should be a better year for the ARK style of investing in growth and disruptive technology, but they are concentrating companies that have underperformed. What companies are those? You have Tesla, Roku, Unity Software, just to name a few. And by the way, ARC largest holding is Tesla, which is down almost 50% um, year to date. So ARC's decision to exit NVIDIA, this was another um, scratch on her record, to exit NVIDIA before it, its meteoric ascent on the back of AI sector hype and hope also drew criticism. However, the firm defended 
the move, citing the need for better opportunities within the AI ecosystem despite NVIDIA's successful run. Now, despite the recent turndown, ARC remains a significant name in the thematic investing with Wood at the helm. Among other moonshot bets, she continues her long-standing support for cryptocurrency ventures like Coinbase. She made a nice bag on Coinbase when it was traded at 50 and went as high as 200 and she kind of sold uh, periodically um, en route to that $200 level, whose shares have been seeing a significant ups upswing over the past year. All right, so kind of going back to the daily chart, I'm going to zoom out to the weekly chart. And uh, this is a level that I'm going to be targeting, the $40 level. Why? You have a rally in price, one basin candle, and then rally out. So even though it's in the middle of this range, um, that should be a level in which price at least reacts to. So let's... Um, now one thing to note is the leg out candle um, went lower than I would have liked, um, kind of pointing down to the fact that the real buyers are below this zone. But nevertheless, um, for now we're going to have to respect this level as it was on uh, decent volume. Alright, so I'll keep an eye on ARC Innovation and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, would you be a buyer, seller, or are you staying on the sidelines? Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.